Hotel Atlantic. Give me the hall porter. Listen, uh, there's a gentleman uh, waiting uh, for me in the hall. An odd-looking gentleman called Sunshine. Yes, sir. Hold on, please. Hello. You. Telephone. Number two. Oh, there you are. Now, uh, Sunshine, call up some of the morning papers. Tell them uh, there's a story. The Lenard Shipyard, between 11 and 11.05 tonight. Lenard Shipyard, yes. It's a story with a kick in it. He might get hurt. Don't go to sleep while you are doing it. Keep my name out of it and... Uh... May I be in on this? On what? Whatever it is at the Lenard Shipyard. The Lenard Shipyard? Hello. Are you not there? All right. Good night. I'm afraid you are making a mistake. Oh, I see. <laughs> Excuse me. As a matter of fact, I did have an appointment at 11. In a more convenient place than a shipyard. Fortunately, I was putting it off. My luck is marvelous. Would you like to dance? No, thank you. As a matter of fact, I have an appointment at 11, too. Ellison, the famous airman. He's just flown back from Australia in record time. Please, Matthias, I must talk to you a moment. Good, clear, not in the middle of the head. Well, sorry. Conrad. Darling, I can't stop. I'm losing. Two no trumps. A false. A dead. My car, please. Boy, car for Miss Lenard. Have I ever let you down? No. Hey, we're from the press. What's going on here? Nothing ever goes on while I'm about. Oh. There. What did I tell you?
Major Ellison. Hello. I'm sorry to disturb your supper, but it appears you're a thief. This evening you broke into the Lenard's yard. The Lenard's yard again. I knew you had an interest in that old shipyard. Yes, you're quite right. As a matter of fact, I own exactly 33 and one third percent of it. You see, I'm Claire Lenard. Oh. Now you have disturbed my supper. It may disturb you further to know that at this moment the police are making inquiries. Oh, I see. You came here to warn me. Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't. I came for the designs of the FP-1. And if you don't get them? I suppose you are going to call the police and get me arrested. I don't care what happens to you. I want those plans to be found. Really? Is that all you want? Then we both want the same thing. Well, before you call the police, would you be good enough to get on to the shipyard of yours? Hello. If your brothers are in the filing office, it would be a good idea if they went up, please. Just one flight of stairs to the floor above. Into my office? Really, I've got to. Some unexplained reason, we've got to go into my office. What's all this about? Yes. Just a minute. Your brothers are now only halfway upstairs. They won't have any difficulty about getting in. Broken open. No. Hello. Is that Miss Lenartz? They're in the office now. Well, it would be a very good idea if they would pay attention to the blotter which is bang in front of them. You have to pay attention to the blotter which is bang in front of you. Those are my drawings. The FP1. Thank you, gentlemen. Now for some good hot coffee. I've earned it. Haven't I? Well? You've called out the fire brigade, broken into our offices, disturbed the whole town in the middle of the night. Yes, I think you've earned it all right. However, if you're not too interested in your coffee, why did you... Why did I steal the drawings that I didn't steal at all? Yes? Yeah. Of course. It must seem rather odd to you. You see, Drost and I have known each other for years. Everything that men could go through between heaven and earth, we went through together. And after the war, Drost lost himself in his drawings. But I climbed into my airplane and fluttered around the globe a few times. And every time I come home, there sits Drost, getting more and more hopeless, waiting for someone to build his FP-1. But your captains of industry won't even look at his drawings. They don't seem to know what progress means. Suddenly, I had a tremendous idea. I fetched the file with FP-1 on it from the furthest corner of the filing office and just by carrying it up one flight of stairs, proved to the captains of industry that there is something new in the world. Well, you certainly chose a very roundabout way of getting there. Hmm. What else can you do nowadays? I think it was marvelous of you to do it. Well, Thorst would do the same for me. You know, I feel a little ashamed of myself. Why? Because you thought I was a gang of cooks? Mm -hmm. That's my fate. Always misunderstood. <laughs> 